Welcome everyone, my name is Imran Chaush. In this video, we are going to see how you will install Notepad++ on M1, M2, on macOS Ventura 13.4.1 and Notepad++ on macOS High Sierra 10.13.6. Uh, so, let's dive into the video. Search for Notepad++, we don't have Notepad, let's download it. Go to codewavers.com, links are in the description below. Yellow color, try now, crossover. Run Windows apps on Mac, Linux or Chrome OS. Try now. Download crossover and experience a world without Windows. Okay, now it will asking for our operating system. Enter your name, then enter your email address. Once we done with the detail, we just click on download trial now. Please wait. Okay. Do you want to allow download on codewavers.com? Allow and it will uh, it will take around uh, five to six minutes. We will speed up the video. Now we have crossover double click on it. Expanding crossover 23.00.6. Okay, now we have crossover. Double click on crossover as well. Open move to application folder okay open again minimize check automatically check for update automatically try now for 24 days popular application install a window application maximize it now search for notepad notepad plus plus okay here we have notepad plus plus click on that Click on install. Crossover would like to access file. OK. File on your download folder. OK. Please select language English. OK. Welcome Notepad. Next. I agree. C program file Notepad++. Next. This will be the install location. Next. Create shortcut on desktop. Install it will not create but finish now it's okay it's asking for update available okay yes it's downloading the update for latest version okay install again same process okay next i agree next 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 finish now congratulations we have notepad plus plus on your mac system now try to open new file new file now try to write something. This is Notepad++. Congratulations. Let's see how much storage it will require. So it is 9.8.4, uh, 984 MB basically. Now let's try to open our Notepad++ application. Go to program, search for Notepad. It will not show. So to open the Notepad++, again we have to go to the Launchpad application crossover. From crossover, try now. We have to open Notepad++. So this is how you will be able to open Notepad++ after installation. Thank you. Method 2 to install Notepad++ on Mac. Go to this link. Link will be in the description. You can find it. So with Play on Mac, uh, basically we can run our Windows software. Okay, so because I have a Mac OS 11 plus version in my laptop so I will download play on Mac 4.4.1 it will start download it will take some time I will speed up the process so when it's downloaded I will pick it back okay right now we have that DMG file so simply to install that we need to double click on that double click on that play on Mac put it on to the application once you are done with that it will start installing play on mac software so where we can run our notepad plus plus search for that play on mac so we have play on mac software open it once you have that software uh, it will ask if we have downloaded basically from internet click yes at the end of this video i have also shown that process if it is not work how you will do that so this process also takes some time around 10 to 20 minutes now search for notepad++ 
hello te okay we have notepad plus plus now now we will click on install again it will take some time so read this message carefully what it's saying leave the default blah 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 now i will click on don't remind me anymore then i will click on next okay my uh, keep it clean so we will able don't confuse click on next now again click on next now it will start its processing it it will take lot of time lot of time now welcome to play on mac installation wizard click on next click on next then at the end i did uh, come up with this error so it is not working on mac so method 1 is work method 2 is not working on mac m1 and m2 chips so okay here is the process how you can uh, enable it if application is not opening so in the part 2 i am showing for older version of mac so you can go and check out that so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to this channel